What an ugly market it is. I am just recording this now, one minute after it closed. 1200 points down on the Dow. Woo! It's getting serious. But before, before we talk about the market, I think we should talk about something more positive. You like my haircut? I just came back from a from a uh, hairdresser and uh, I got a new haircut. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm looking at myself, my freaking forehead is like, it's so burned. Thanks Colin for taking me fishing for six freaking hours. He was like, when I was in Toronto, he's like, I'm gonna pick you up at 4.30 in the morning. We're going fishing. I'm like, no, I don't wanna get up at four o'clock in the morning to go fishing, you know? But still, you know, he convinced me. And now I have a red forehead. Uh, anyway, one other thing is like, I am literally going straight to bed now. I am so wrecked physically. So I went to play basketball yesterday. And I usually, like my playing basketballs are over. Like, you know, 23 years ago was really, when I was seriously playing. And I didn't play for many years, only recently I would go and shoot some hoops. But, you know, just shooting is like, doesn't take any effort. And yesterday I was playing like, you know, competitive with some 20 year olds. And man, everything hurts today, everything. My neck hurts, my hips hurt, my lower back hurts. My knees hurt. I mean, I guess, I guess it's like I'm coming to terms that my body can't do what it used to do, you know? I'm 42 years old now and I just can't keep up. I can't keep up. Oh, there's a, there's a cop following me. I'm gonna lower it a little bit. All right, now, so, now that we got the haircut and my red body out of the way, man, this market sucks. This market sucks. And you know what it is? It's like for 12 years now, it was nothing but a party. And this is the start. I'm telling you guys, this is the start of another party. Because the last 12 years, right? We had this huge sell off in 2008, 2009. And since then, the, the stocks have been recovering and they just have been on their way up, right? And and this gives the birth to Kathy Wood, all these YouTubers, uh, Shamach, right? All these geniuses, uh, reckless investors, and everything was going up. The worst the company, the worst is Shetco, you know, Ponzi sector, the, the, main, the, the more money they made. Just mark this word now. In the next 10 years, we're gonna have a new, new Kathy Wood, new something. You see, she's a woman, so, and, and I wish there were more women in, in finance, but that had a brain, like, you know, uh, because next time it's gonna be, so, so we had like a woman, right? Which is differentiated from all these white males. Then we had an Indian guy, and then, uh, and who else do we have? Uh, I don't know, just I keep forgetting. But next time we need some, we need like transgender, like something, some transgender money manager that's gonna, you know, be different and they're gonna, you know, invest in some other fantasy and it's gonna blow up after a while. But this time it's gonna give birth to another craziness. But you see, what happened over the last 12 years is everybody was just on drugs, right? Like, you know, getting happy and getting high, right? And now they're coming down, right? Like, they're go it's painful. They're coming down from being high, hyped up, and they're going through detox, right? And detox is not fun. But here's the thing. When you have a friend that has an addiction problem and going through a detox, 
you feel sorry for him, but you're like, you know what? You did what you did, and now you pay the price for it. But he's going through detox. You're not going through detox, okay? Now, in this situation, all of these clowns got drunk on growth stocks, got drunk on innovation, got drunk on crypto, anything that had a pulse, they got drunk on it, right? And injected into their veins. And now, they're going through detox, but we gotta go through detox with them, right? Because it hurts us too, because they're selling everything, you know, recession is coming, right? Uh, Target got uh, destroyed today, like 26% or something, I didn't even look, but something like that. Um, because, you know, uh, the slowing is spending down, the, the stimmy checks are not available anymore, uh, the Fed is raising interest rates, so everybody is pointing to a recession, right? And recession is the detox. Like, we have to go through this at some point. But, but you see, 90, I would say 97% of the time, the fear of recession, when it comes to the markets, is much stronger than the actual recession, okay? That's the reality. Usually, usually things are not that bad. Then, just like COVID, like, like COVID wasn't that bad, right? It's like, oh, okay, you know, I mean, pe some people died, of course, but like the way, when I looked at it first, it was like, oh my goodness, this is gonna destroy the whole economies. And, and, and it didn't, right? And now it's like, you know, what's the definition of recession? Two quarters of negative GDP. And you know what? I wish they would just say that we're in recession because then they can start focusing on, oh, since we're in recession, now we're gonna start thinking of coming out of this recession and people will start pricing it in. But that's not where we are right now. And usually these downturns, you know, they don't last that long. So we'll see, we'll see how long this one lasts. And look, some of you guys are gonna say like, oh my God, it's so bad and all this. And look, I can come up, I can come up and make a video and scare the heck out of you. Like, I can go and read some macro things and be like, oh my God, the retail spending is going down and interest rates are going up, housing is going down and do that. Look, I can do that very, very easily, okay? I can get some views, I can start talking about it. I can predict recession, you know, 50 times before I predict, predict it, you know? Um, so I can do this if you want, but that's not the point. Uh, you know, with some of my stocks, like a couple weeks ago, I was buying, uh, two to three weeks ago, I finally started building a position, big position, in a stock that I'm, I'm not making it public on YouTube, but I was like waiting for so many years to build a position. And, uh, and the stock was at like 52 week high, right? Because, I mean, the business is fantastic. They're growing no matter what. They're signing up clients no matter what is happening to the economy. So the stock is like at 52 week high. And I'm like, you know, I want this and I'm buying it. I don't care, I'm just buying it. And now I bought it, the stock is down like uh, 30%, more than 30% since I bought it. So of course I'm annoyed. Of course I'm annoyed because I, I could have bought more with the same amount of money. But I want to have, like my goal, I want to have a million shares of that company. And I only have 300,000 shares. So I have 700,000 to go. So, okay, I could have bought more with the money, but I have a lot more buying to do over, over the year. So, you know, I'm kind of happy that, it, that it's going down. My money will buy me more. And you know, over the months as I'm able to put some money away. And I'm sure you're thinking the same way. If you are buying, you want the stocks to go down. Uh, but you feel the pain are the positions that you're not buying more or are the positions that you just want to hold. So it's like, of course you are annoyed because all or the positions that <clears throat> maybe you want to trim to buy something else and they're going down with the same rate. So of course you are annoyed. But ju just realize this, like we really needed this. We, need, we needed this to happen. And I don't know when it's gonna end, but like this detox is absolutely important because it was getting out of control. Like 
you know the, the crypto has to get wiped out the gross stocks that will never be profitable have to go out of business people that were stupid they have to get completely wiped out um, and then we can start we can start and build new base so then we can uh, we can uh, we can grow again and the stupidity like this happens again in 10 years it you know people are never gonna learn but this was absolute this is absolutely necessary because you know the, the craziness was just out of this world and unfortunately we have to go through these detox with these clowns that were so irresponsible with the money